Hi guys, it's Uya Shimon here again. Uh, new Shim mod on the uh, Uya console. I'll just show you that. Uh, I'll just unplug everything, unscrew the uh, lid from the uh, Uya case, and uh, let you have a look inside. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so it's still got the original, very crude fan mod on there, but. Uh, a new shim job inside let's just show you that okay so for for those of you wondering there's just four screws on these this is a torx i think it's a number nine torx don't quote me on that but i believe it is just unscrew the four screws simple as that Don't know how this video is going to look. I'm basically resting my mobile phone up against the <laughs> up against the tool kit. So, chin nose there. Just to show you. Okay, so that's the little fan mod. It is very very crude. It's glued on and uh, velcroed and everything like that. But at least it works. That's that's all we need. So it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't know if you can see into that, but you'll see a shim inside of there, a copper plate it's uh, roughly I think or oh, eight is, is it is it just under um, a centimeter about eight millimeters deep or something like that I'll show you how that's been how that's been attached to it it is very very crude uh, things will look a little obscure as well uh, it'll look crooked, but actually it's not. It looks crooked, but it's been aligned to be straightened, to be straight against the CPU. But basically, you can see here, all I've done is got some um, paper clips, and I have made them yay long, say. Then I've hooked it, hooked it around the um, around the heatsink plate itself uh, after drilling a hole. I didn't have a proper drill, I, I used a screwdriver, I say drill, that's why it's so scuffed, but it doesn't really matter, it's, it's just to produce a hole. Uh, all I've done is tie those tie those um, paper clips through the holes as hangers, I've twisted them, then knotted them around themselves, twisted it around itself, and then soldered it at the back. Forgive my soldering, it is very appalling, um, because the iron I'm using is, is absolutely appalling as well, it's a cheap, nasty £20 Maplin iron with them. Um, 399 tips so isn't going to be much good anyway it doesn't get hot enough hence uh, for that reason please use a decent uh, variable digital iron, digital iron if you can uh, but yeah you can see how the plate's gone on and uh, all I do for tightness is, is is simply hook hook over a cable tie and then twist off just to hold this piece down a little bit because I broke the the one leg which I could repair but uh, I'm not going to go into that much detail with it as long as it works I'm not bothered um, and it will continue to work just make sure when it's moved a little that you haven't disaligned it at all like it just has slightly um, be very careful when you when you're not when you're poking holes I, I screwed a screwdriver through the board to make those little holes for those hangers but yeah you can see how it works and uh, I'll be showing you some performance tests later at some point uh, uh, I, I know I know at one stage I've had this running for two hours 26 minutes solid watching videos and playing games and it's only hit a max temp of 51 degrees Celsius which is nothing I got that through Android system tuner the result for the temperature came from that program which is a very good program, it's used for overclocking, but the UU is already overclocked and cannot be overclocked further without, obviously, some kind of kernel, if that's even possible, after the point at which it's already been done to. But yeah, you get the idea. That it's just paper clips run through the board, twisted off against the um, heat sink, and then soldered at the back. The copper plate I used came from a laptop cooler from a Dell, uh, laptop a very old one um, it was the center block from the it's like a curved fan and then there's um, some pipe work running off it um, but there's there's a block piece of steel probably like that and in the center is a large chunk of copper about that thick 
I've actually got that out and I've filed it both sides so it's smooth. There's no ridge marks where the pipe ridge marks like that where the pipe went. Um, so I just use that basically, and uh, it works works a treat. So yeah, the reason I used paper clips for the standoffs was because the original ones obviously weren't long enough um, to compensate for such a thick shim plate. Uh, I've also pasted between the CPU and the shim, and then the shim and the heatsink plate that's on top of the shim. And um, you do that with all uh, with the with the I pasted. If you can see the little edge here, where the um, shims are for the RAM, I've pasted just that little edge where the CPU shim meets them, just under there and beneath those shims for the RAM. I've also um, pasted them. Okay, thanks for watching.